psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everyone, welcome to my live energy channeling psychic reading on August Alcina and Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Welcome to Lamar's room. Um, this is actually my bedroom. Um, this background is not new to a lot of you all. However, if you are new, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button and when you hit the bell, make sure you hit all notifications. If you would like to see part two of this reading, you can hit the join button on my YouTube channel to become a member, of course, or you can um, check out my Vimeo, V-I-M-E-L dot com, my second channel on Vimeo um, slash Lamar Townsend Tarot, which will be in the description box in the comment section below to watch part two of this reading. Okay. So, of course, before we get into the energy channeling, we do have to cleanse the energy of the space first. So let's do that. Thank you, Father God, for cleansing me and clearing the energy of the space from any past readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on August Alcina, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Will Smith. Thank you for allowing me to see what you would like me to see. Thank you for allowing me to be your mouthpiece. Thank you, excuse me, for speaking through me. Thank you for just protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, my mind, and my emotions. The thoughts, energy, mind, and emotions of those watching this video. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So I feel like August Alcina oftentimes was in the middle of the relationship between Will and Jada. And I feel like Jada, when August Alcina and Jada were together and had their thing, um, I feel like Jada vented and poured her heart out a lot about what she went through, you know, um, what she was going through um, in her relationship with Will, Will Smith and her marriage with Will Smith, but also just in general, you know, as an older woman in Hollywood and you know, just little microaggressions she would go through as, as a black woman. You know, I, I like I see her just really pouring her heart out to August Alcina, which is weird because August Alcina is much younger than her, I believe. I don't know anything about August Alcina. But I do think that August Alcina is to some degree is a very old soul. Um, and it's kind of tough for August Alcina because he doesn't really relate to people his age and people around him. So I feel like it was easy for him to relate to Jada. Um, Cause I feel like it's easy for him to relate specifically to older women. So I don't know if he has a thing for older women, probably, but I do see that. And I feel like once again, Jada would pour her heart out a lot to August Alcina. And like it made August feel closer to her because I think August is an empath. You guys are gonna have to let me know what his zodiac sign is. Is he a water sign or like maybe fire? or a mix between the two, because he comes off as very watery, fiery energy. Um, but I do see him being in the middle oftentimes between Will and Jada. It's interesting because I think, literally, and I he came out and said that Will approved J Jada and Al August Alcina's relationship, but I think, like, there would be times where I think August Alcina would be at Will and Jada's house. I think Will would be on this end, Jada would be on this end. And literally, August would be in the middle. 
I think sometimes he wouldn't know what to do because, like, maybe they had a fight, Will and Jada. Maybe Jada was really upset about something and didn't want to talk and, you know, had an outburst and August kind of removed himself from her space and maybe Will comes out of his quarters and is like, oh, August, what's up? What are you doing here? Oh, are you talking to Jada? Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. So it was really weird for him to experience that where it's like, He's in a relationship or in a situation where two people are married. The husband knows about it. The husband's cool with it and actually, like, has a relationship with the man. Not, not I don't know if they had a, a relationship in the sense of sexual or anything like that. We'll see. We'll see. But so far, I'm, I don't know. I'm not picking up on anything like that quite yet. But, um, like, August and Will had a relationship. They had some sort of, like, understanding. And I think they crossed each other's paths frequently obviously because I do think August spent a lot of time around Jada and Jada is home a lot like I think her and Will still live together or something like that I think sometimes Jada and August would have their time away with each other but I think there were a lot of times where Will August and Jada were in the same space together not necessarily the three of them in the same room but like once again Will and August or Jada and August over here Will over here doing his own thing that's the energy I feel so I think that was confusing to him because I also think there was something with August where because Jada would often complain to him about what she was going through in her relationship with Will and what she wants to do with Will and oh I don't even know if we're married it's like we're married but we're not married and I think she has this kind of complex in her relationship in her marriage with Will like I think I obviously they have and it's been confirmed from what she said and things we've seen on you know, the table talk or whatever, the red table talk, but it's like, they pretty much have an open relationship, whatever you want to call them, they're swingers, but it's like, Jada, even though she likes that aspect of the relationship her and Will have, like, she likes the freedom that they have, like, okay, they're married, you know, but she can still go have, you know, her thing with other people, but I don't know why I feel like she worries that either Will work, will kind of run away and, um will like run away from her and fall in love with someone else or if she has a complex with will hooking up with other people like because i think maybe it's for her it's like will hooking up with other people and him her not telling him not telling her about it because i think maybe they have some sort of pact where it's like we can hook up with other people but we have to tell each other about it or it's like i don't know it's like kind of weird there's, like, this thing where don't tell each other about it, but we have to tell each other about it kind of thing. It's, like, a really weird situation. But I also hear sharing, so I do wonder if they share people, if they, like, share partners or something like that every now and then. I'm pretty sure they've done threesomes before and stuff. So I do see that kind of energy between Will and Jada. As far as, like, August, have they shared August? Um... I feel like maybe there's been opportunities between August and Will, but I don't know if... I feel like they more so have, like, a older brother, little brother's relationship. It's like a sibling relationship. But there is some sort of lust or sexual attraction. I actually feel more so... And I don't know if he's bisexual or what his situation is, but I feel more so from August towards Will than Will towards August. That's what I feel. I actually feel like, and I could be wrong, there's something where I think... August is actually not Will's type. So, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I do feel like that August Alcina is not necessarily Will Smith's type. I feel that Will Smith has a couple types when it comes to men. And I don't know if I'm spilling too much tea, Will, because I don't know if Jada's going to be watching this. And I feel like Jada would not like this portion of this reading, Jada, cover, you, cover your ears, honey, cover your eyes, because I'm about to spill some tea on Will, okay? You know my camera cuts off. I'm about to spill some tea, and Spirit doesn't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to Will Smith, Will Smith is attracted to muscular men. Close your eyes, cover your ears, all right? 
Jada Pinkett Smith, because I know you're not going to like this part. Okay, j j I feel like Will Smith is attracted to muscular men, but also he's attracted to twinks, and specifically white twinks, allegedly. Um, other races, too. But even in the sense of muscular men, he likes muscular twinks, which I didn't even know was a thing till now, but I'm picking up that energy. Um, kind of feminine. Um, men, you know, the types of men who will keep a secret. Maybe specifically down low, twinks, down low, you know, because in this case, Will would be more so maybe the down low T. I think he is more bisexual, but I think he does like to keep his bisexuality more so under wraps. The same with Jada Pinkett Smith. And I actually think, and I think I'm spilling maybe a little bit too much tea, I actually think that this is part of why Jada and Will stay together is because they both know they have proclivities allegedly. This is all for alleged. This is all alleged. This is all for entertainment purposes. I think they both have proclivities towards the same sex. And I think there's something about their relationship where it keeps them safe because they can keep each other secret. But also maybe if something were to get out, Maybe someone they hooked up with, you know, goes out and gets mad at them and, you know, tells all. It's like, well, no, I'm married to a woman or I'm married to a man, so that can't be true. That's what I pick up. And I think August Alcina was placed into this whirlwind and this world of craziness that is the marriage between Will and Jada. And I actually feel bad for him because he was very vulnerable at the time. And I think he was genuinely looking for love. I think Jada picked up on this energy um, and nurtured him a lot. I mean, I do think Jada nurtured him and really taught him a lot about business and the industry and things like that. Um, but I do think that August Alcina suffers from depression. And I see that a lot of times there would be time spent, you know, with Jada kind of giving August pep talks and, you know, really trying to bring him out of his sense of depression. Because I do think August Alcina has been through a lot. I think he's kind of been used and abused through the, from the industry. That's what I pick up. Like, but behind the scenes more so, it feels like from maybe men and women, but I feel like especially from one, from one, women, actually. Like, I feel like he's had a lot of experiences where women have actually broken his heart, women have played him. Y'all think men are players, you know, but girls, some of y'all women out there, y'all be just as bad as the men, honey. So I think that is the energy. And I think August has had some sort of, like, awakening um, and has had some sort of awakening as to how he is, how he has been betrayed, and once again, how he's been abused by the industry, not only the industry, but the media. And I think there's something where he's also coming out of his depression, and it's kind of like, no, like, I was not the home wrecker. no, like, because I think also this whole situation with Jada and Will has affected his, his career in some way, in a negative way, too. That's what I pick up. So I think... The reason why he's brought these things to light when it comes to Will giving him approval, you know, with his, this relationship with Jada is him having some sort of awakening, trying to change the, his public image, his public perception. But also, I actually feel like reaching out publicly, publicly in some way to Will and Jada. That's what I feel. Because I do think that August Alcina had a relationship with both Will and Jada, actually. And that was kind of like a really weird for him too, because Will acted like there was like he acted so normal, like you know, like literally. I feel like Will would act like this dude's brother or like older uncle, and it's like, yo, I'm sleeping with your girl, and you're like treating me like a prince or a king here. Like, I don't get it. I also think that he knew. I think he knew August knew the kids too. Jade, uh, what's their names? Jaden and Willow, and probably the other ones too. So, and I, because I think the kids also know, like, and understand their parents, you know, Jaden and Will's relationship. So it's not new to them that, like, but I think Will's more, a lot more secretive about it than Jada. I feel like Jada's very open with her kids and stuff like that. And I think that's part of why Will doesn't tell her everything or does keep certain, does keep things, certain things hidden from her because he doesn't want his kids to know all his business and his teeth. So, but it's like, Jada's the type of person where it's like, no, they need to know so that they can know that it's okay to be this way. It's okay to make mistakes. So they also have different styles of parenting. 
This has become the Will and Jada reading. Anyway, I'm going to get into part two, where I think I'm going to get a little bit more into... Ooh, cha, I'm getting into August Alcina and Jada's sex life. I'm seeing some things about that. I'm also seeing some things about Will and, and Will and Jada's sex life, um, which we'll talk about that in part two. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and watching. Remember, if you guys want a reading from me, subscribe first of all to my youtube channel hit the bell next to the subscribe button make sure you hit all notifications when you hit the bell so you'll get all notifications every time i go live or upload a brand new video if you want to see part two hit the join button to become a member of my youtube channel so you can get exclusive access to content such as part two of this reading or check out my vimeo channel which the link will be in the description box below or the comment section below to my vimeo channel um, my second channel on vimeo also if you want a personal reading from me remember my website is lamartownsintarot.com. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm so, like, burpy. But anyway, or was that a hiccup? I think that was a mix between the two. Anyway. And I haven't even drink drinking coffee. I don't know why I'm so hyper. Anyways, lamartownsintarot.com is where you can get your reading from me. You can schedule it via schedule. This will be on my website, the schedule now button. Or you can go to the store section and purchase your reading. Either way, you'll get your reading done. So, lastly, follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Lamar Townsend Tarot. I'll see you in the next video, or I'll see you for your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. It's your choice. Thank you for listening and watching.